I'm John Haas with Haas Off The Grid, your destination travel adventure television show. You can catch us at HaasOffTheGrid.com. I'm here to talk to you today about tarpon fishing. Um, I live in the Pacific Northwest, so I don't do a bunch of tarpon fishing in my backyard, but I've done a tar ton of tarpon fishing in the past. And I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes kind of giving you the, the primer of how do you fish for tarpon. In general, tarpon are um, predators. They can be scavengers at times. They're the largest member of the herring family, so they can grow to over 200 pounds. You're usually catching them in um, Atlantic waters or Caribbean waters, um, in brackish waters because they like to live uh, where the salt and the and the uh, freshwater mix. Um, but you can catch them out in the ocean too. In general, salt they migrate and do all those types of things. They come up on flats. You see a lot of TV shows. Uh, where guys are fishing for them in a lot of different ways. I'm just going to talk about some of those ways today. Like I said, they're a big, they're a predator, and they're you know sometimes can be a scavenger. Um, most of the tarpon I fish for have been uh, two ways. Uh, one of them we've been using, uh, we use a jig, whether it's a you know a, j a jig head with just a piece of shrimp at the end, or a jig head like this uh, with a piece of bait on it. Uh, a lot of times we use bucktail jigs where it's just uh, bucktail tied off to the back end of this and then a piece of bait uh, wrapped up on there. Uh, tarpon seem to look for that action and like to smell something. Uh, they're very sensory. Um, we also uh, have also caught them on plugs and poppers. Uh, you got to remember they're a predator. They're going to eat what's around. So if you know what's around, and a lot of times in the brackish water you've got a lot of bait fish, uh, a lot of mullet and things like that that they'll come up and eat. And so patterns that will imitate that. Um, the other way that I've caught a lot of tarpon, and one of my favorite ways, is on a fly. And I'll just show you a little bit uh, about this fly box. You can see a whole bunch of different patterns from poppers to you know, bait fish patterns. Um, but tarpon patterns generally take a certain shape, uh, and I'll show you a couple of them. They're tied generally sparsely on a fly, and they're tied back, further back on the hook shank than, let's say, just a regular bait fish fly. Not necessarily, not saying that you can't use one, I'm just saying like, tied like this, but generally they're tied up in this pattern. And the reason why is because they're, you know, it's the weighting of the fly and, and how the fly looks in the water. Um, this is the last fly I actually caught a tarpon on and it's tied in that pattern, you can see that there's a lot of different patterns that they come in um, depending on what's in the water and the situation, what they're keying on. A lot of times these patterns are imitating shrimp. Um, but like anything else, it's about uh, your delivery and presentation. So depending upon the conditions that you're fishing in, the delivery might be better with a jig, a jig head with bait, might be better with a fly might be better trolling around if you're looking for fish and you don't know where they are uh, using a, a trolled plug like that. Um, tarpon generally are you know, good fighting fish. They are generally caught up on flats or in uh, estuaries when the tide's changing. Uh, my favorite tarpon to catch are the smaller tarpon. You catch a lot of those in the 40, you know, 30 to 40 pound range. Uh, it can be a great day, especially on a fly rod. But in general, um, tarpon fishing uh, has been very popular in the, on the, you know, in Florida and places like that. And people that target tarpon are generally happy just to jump a tarpon. That term jumping a tarpon means you get a tarpon hooked up and you get them to jump out of the water and that's considered success because a lot of the times uh, tarpon will throw the hook. They're very acrobatic fighters. Um, and depending on the water that you're fishing in uh, and the gear that you're using, uh, it'll happen more often than not. The other thing is their mouth is very, very, uh, very, very strong. Uh, hard, uh, a lot of bone in there. So when we fly fish, we really try and get them in the corner of the mouth where there's a little bit of soft tissue to hold them. Same thing holds true if you're going to use uh, bait. You'd want to use a circle hook and try and catch them in the corner of the mouth. But uh, any way you try and catch them, uh, tarpon fishing can be a blast, and I hope you go out and take that advice to your and use it to your advantage.